Hey, all right, guys. Welcome back. Um, what's changed, I guess? New Premier in Victoria. A couple of Premiership teams. Uh, Penrith Panthers won. Collingwood won the Grand Final. Been away on a holiday. Had a bit of a um, had a bit of a flu while I was there. Great time with the family. Took my daughter to the tip for the first time. Doesn't sound like much, but seeing your daughter hanging out the window of the car at the tip, king of the world. Bit of uh, dumpster diving, fantastic, we had a great time. Anyway, we're back on the build. Hope you enjoy this video. So if you're just tuning in for the first time, thanks for jumping on board. Uh, my name's Scott Matthews, I'm here at Latrobe Valley Airport where it's about to start raining again. We've got bushfires up the road and we've got a, a threat of floods later on this afternoon, so go figure. Um, I am building a full size, I've heard a few people mention scale and all that sort of thing. Um, it's a full size Sopwith Camel replica if you like, representation. Um, that's about where it stops, it's all metal. It's going to look like a Sopwith Camel from a distance. It's going to fly, we've got the Rotec 2800, um, 110 horsepower, 7 cylinder radial sitting over there which I need to service again. and. Um, Got the aircraft framed up. It's starting to get a little bit frustrating. I did sneak out here yesterday. Um, got a few nuts and bolts. I'm basically, I'm basically out of hardware. So I've used, there's not much, there's no more hardware bags if you like. And I find it frustrating just trying to get, you know, I went over and got some bolts. I think they were a 15. Um, that one's okay. Where was it? Uh, these guys. So I've got three washers. That's a, a dash 15. I really need a dash I don't know, 13 or 14, which they didn't have. So I've ordered those just because there's no reason to have three washers on there. Um, takes a fair bit of time to get the right sort of hardware sorted out. Now I'm going to move on, get these ailerons fitted, see how that works out. Right, found my center line on my spars. Center line on the wing, popped a hole nine inches in from each end. I've set up my aileron gap, rude and crude, gone with three eighths of an inch gap to start with. Um, we'll build the aileron. The way I'm thinking about that, if it's too small, I can't do much about it. If it's too big, I can face it or do whatever I need to do, but I want a nice gap without looking untidy. Now I'm just going to trace these holes. Obviously I've got three eighths of an inch off nine inches. Leaves me whatever. Um, the first hole I sort of get for free and then we'll back drill through that one onto the spar. All right, as the rain tumbles down again, just fitting my bolts. I'm going with a penny washer and I just bent the penny washer just to conform to the tube a bit better. Just peace of mind really going well all right guys we'll persevere with the um with the rain can't do much about that day two so yesterday i didn't feel much because of the noise but i got the aileron in um all hinged put in my spacer i went three eighth ply in there built the inboard false rib attached the aileron to the spar like the ribs to the spar the way i did the spar with my eye bolts you can see in there the eye bolt i bent over a penny washer just for peace of mind more than anything i'm still not 100 percent sure i need to stop those from twisting because if they twist the other one will bind up um yeah a lock wire or a tab or a not sure a lock washer um also things aren't exactly what you think i tried to get these as level as i could i went with a quarter inch at the top there to um sort of get them in the middle and now we'll do the tip this one this is slightly down you won't notice it because it's in internal um i just need to clean the tip up so the tip will run around be nice sort of stiffened everything up nicely 
Um, I've just got the, this will be a castellated nut and split pin eventually. Also my thoughts are, if the gap's too big at the moment, when I get it all working, I can, the ailerons on the outboard side, I could put the aileron, aileron on the inboard side, which would move it in probably an eighth of an inch or so. Um, but I think I need a nice, decent sort of gap. Now I'm just going through, fitting up these interconnect plates, which will drop down, push rod down to the bottom aileron. And then we'll make up some pulleys, run the cables. We're getting somewhere. We've got the control horn in, interconnecting part down here is in, turnbuckles on. I've just got one Clico in my pulley at the front there, just to get the cable uh, angle right, if you like. Um, I made up, made up this plate, just a solid plate, uh, 40, 50, 50 thou, I think that is. Fold up the edges, that's all riveted. The one Clico is just holding the, um, the turnbuckle plate on there at the moment, so I can get the right the right angles um, that runs all the way through I fitted my fair leads made up some fair leads one will go here so the wing disconnects at the double rib obviously um, and this one basically is to stop the cable falling down into the wing too far same on the opposite side so there's two on the inboard or the center section wing and that'll help to hold this cable up good it's a 20 well, it's 28 foot wingspan, so there's 24 feet of cable there. Um, sort of needs a bit of support to hold it up off everything. Can't have a great deal of tension at the moment because, well, one, the ailerons aren't cut out. They're hinged, but not cut out. And two, eventually, you're just gonna raise the aileron up. I use these, um, that's my connector join, if you like. Probably be a split pin and a um, can of, can of castellated nut. So, I'm going to trim some tails off. Another fair lead on this wing. Out to the other pulley on the other side. Still got the plastic on the on the metal. Have to trim all this off. Um, we'll get that done tomorrow. Looking good. Um, get the angle right. See that's out there. There's me just to twist it and get those angles pretty much spot on. So happy with how that's going so far, guys. Um, progressing well, as you know. The idea is to get the um, top wing basically done, then I'm, then I'm gonna raise it up and do some more work down the bottom. I did have yeah, a little bit of a concern on the tip, and I'll just make it work. So I probably will do the tips while it's here, it's not too bad. Get the tip on. And I'm not sure how, once I cut the aileron out, slit it there and there, um, I need to box it in, I guess, somehow. I'm not 100% sure. And cross that bridge. Control horns are on, looking good, looking like a Spitfire, a uh, Sobleth Camel. All right, the rain has stopped. All right, pulley support bracket. I've got those mounted in a nice solid plate with my pulley, little witness hole with a split pin in there to stop the cable, the cable can't jump out. And just working on the other side now, got the bracket in, it looks a bit, the reason I swirled this up, I couldn't get the plastic off, the protective plastic, I'm using sort of second hand aluminium that guys have donated. Um, and I couldn't actually get the, had to use chemicals to get the plastic off after I'd finished the job. It took longer getting the plastic off than actually making the bracket. Um, so that's nice and strong. I'll add a bit more strength when the leading edge sheeting goes on as well. And then I'll put my brackets about to go on and get riveted on. Not forgetting to run the cable through first. All right, pretty happy with that. I can't, can't run the ailerons through because I haven't cut them out yet. That's a bit of a precarious sort of, uh, one of those jobs. I've just got to jump in and now cut. Let's see where I've got to cut the rib in two spots and then we'll box all this in and then the aileron should move. Um, 
it'll pull but it won't push obviously it relies on the bottom wing to work what I'm going to do now once again for these little guys I'll just uh, somehow uh, make a bracket more brackets more roots whack that on there just to support the cables all right plates are on I put this extra bracket underneath here um, just really stiffens up the bottom the bottom rib looking good split pins in cables all run got my fair leads fair leads are sort of just along for the ride this one's just hanging just supports the cable or houses the cable stops the cable dropping too far back inside the wing and the other side is identical 3 16 rivets and 5 30 second rivets spare the rivets spoil the job I'm looking good I drilled into the compression strut but but hey I wanted it nice and strong tomorrow we'll probably I've got a flight test tomorrow actually but then we will um, probably look at cutting out the ailerons all right cut out the aileron cut it out so we've got an aileron full and free and smooth beautiful now I pull the aileron off and you can see where I need to cap cap the ends and box it all up so I get heaps of travel at this stage so really happy so far we persevere and keep going ahead all right aileron spar so same as the wing I've decided to cut that off and um, we'll manufacture the tip the same the same as this rather than I'm just not not comfortable crushing everything down you know we covered it before this gets crushed down to that I'm just going to stick a tube in so it'll be three-quarter tube with a half inch tip so the three-quarter tube I'll just go in there and I'll just, just check check I've got the center all lined up and I put the other one back on and we're good to go some of this stuff you just got to jump in and do it I'm glad I've cut the other one off now because that was a bit daunting at first but not real hard to be honest all right so with the aileron off it's very flimsy you gotta be very careful you can just twist it probably put a six inch warp into it if you wanted to so i got my two by one back on there to get a straight trailing edge and i'll just work on the tip putting the flattened out the tip which will go into the trailing edge nicely All right, guys, you might leave that one there. Sort of procrastinating a bit. Um, went for a fly today with my instructor and did my BFR. Did about an hour or, so, hour or so flying in the rain, or avoiding the rain. But got the tip on. Um, now I'm looking at what I'm going to face the aileron with, because it's all very, very soft at the moment. Um, can all move until I get some more structure. To it just seem that's all I seem to be doing lately is just make more gussets and you can see there I need to I got a sad tip I want a happy face so I just need to raise raise this tip up but I've got to be careful because doing that is moving you can actually see the control horn move down there um, I want to keep the top surface nice and flat so I think I'll put some boards or whatever I have to do put them back in there um, when this gets gusseted that'll yeah it'll just hold that up nice but you got a straight trailing uh, wing tip you know from that point to that point it's sort of got to roll down nicely I ended up crushing the end of this um, and got that in there a bit agricultural but uh, seems to be seems to be working I wanted to um, alleviate as best I could this little transition there I seem to have that worked out okay. So 
So there you go guys, just wanted to get another video out. It's been a while, been away. Um, not a great deal of uh, building going on this week, but, well there was actually, I've got, got the ailerons in, I've run the wire, got the pulleys done. That's where we're at at the moment. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you on the next one.